Soybean cyst nematode is a disease problem that can affect the soybean crop throughout the year and can virtually show no symptom of its presence. Uh, one of the things is, is we're finishing out the soybean crop and you know here we're in a mature field you know where we're getting close to that end of the season. Uh, this is a time to start thinking about soybean cyst nematode and particularly when you get into harvest that's the, one of the better times to actually look for it or an indication that you may have a problem. Now soybean cyst nematode is a soil associated organism. It's a worm-like animal that actually is in the soil and feeds on the soybean root system. As it's feeding and going through its reproduction cycle, it's taking those nutrients and resources away from the soybean plant and that's how it's reducing yield. When we're looking at, at fields that are affected by cyst nematode, many times we'll see just some general unevenness in the canopy uh, as an overall symptom, but that could be caused by many things. But one of the big things we'll see is that typically in Nebraska where we'll have a corn soybean crop rotation, our corn yields will be fine or going up and our soybean yields will be really staying flat or even dropping in many cases. The other indication is when you're harvesting, uh, you may have a soybean cyst nematode problem or pockets of suppressed or lower yields in the field with really no obvious symptom or reason or how you can explain it. So if you're having any indication that you've had a, a soybean cyst nematode problem or any of these things that you cannot really explain the yield reduction, I want to encourage you to take a cyst nematode sample. That's an easy soil sample that can be taken uh, and then submit it to the University of Nebraska uh, where the, your, some of your soybean checkoff dollars are going to support that cyst nematode sampling program. Um, as we go forward as well, the other options can be commercial labs that will process those. Once you get those results back and find out if you have cyst nematode in the field or not, then you can take the appropriate steps to manage it.